Damien at the uh, latter stages of the second round. And he's still in touch, still trailing by four. Still well in touch, I think, so. It's under normal circumstances, if all of what Simeon was doing was getting recorded, there'd be virtually nothing in this. In fact, he might even be in front. But having said that, it was a pretty good second round for Ibrahimov. It was. It's funny if I had him shading the second round, but the first round just about even. But he holds that lead he had from the first round into round three. Now, let's see uh, what his tactics are here. Looks like Simeon is going to be doing the bulk of the work now. Cracking contest, this one. We've seen some good ones, haven't we, over the last couple of weeks, but this is a belter. Yes, plenty of punches scoring. Oops. Oh, that was naughty. And he got a point for it. He did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> so that's another thing about the system. If there's a foul shot, it still gets picked up. Yes. Uh, it doesn't get wiped off. No. The referee might have an interpretation, the judges might have a different interpretation. And it's now just two points. Simeon's coming at him. Well, Ibrahimov now looking to tie up a bit. He's uh, feeling the pace that this one's been set at. And uh, now Simeon in a position to take over. He's level and Ibrahimov looks to be towering again. That, that feeling we got in the second round is back again, even more so. First time in the contest now, Simeon a point in front, and Ibrahimov will have it all to do, I think, after this round. Well, Romania have had such a difficult game, haven't they, with their gymnast ruled out, and all sorts of protests going on. They felt they were unlucky with uh, Simeon's brother, Durrell, but maybe he's going to take the arguments out of the question with his own fists here. A point in front as we close down the third round. And still looks to be worth more than that here in this third. Much better round for Marian Simeon of Romania. And with a round to go, the man from Bucharest, the reigning world champion, is just a point in front of Ibrahimov. So a difficult third round for Yamakan Ibrahimov, and he looks as if he's very nearly spent. Simeon, who's uh, come from behind here after a difficult start, and is now beginning to dominate the fight. That's right, Ibrahimov locking up very badly, I thought, in round three there, and his coach just gave him a real roasting in the corner, didn't he? He did. But uh, how much has he got in his legs? How much has he got in his arms? What? What on earth was that about? Not sure at all. Just giving him a standing count before a punch has even landed. What on earth was that about? Well, I'm completely mystified. But once again, he's doing the work. Well, I'd expect Simeon to pull away here in this final couple of minutes. Takes a lovely uppercut, though. Which doesn't score from the Kazakh. I think the Kazakh... Uh, Ibrahimov's got to do all his work in the first minute because I think he's going to tower in the last. Good body shots, not scoring. One minute to go then. It's dead level. Marion Simeon of Romania now a point behind. And two points behind Ibrahimov. And where those points came from, I don't know. So suddenly, once more, Simeon has work to do here in round four if he's to get his dream of Olympic gold. Simeon looks to his corner and now knows he's behind. It 
it's got to be a sensational last 40 seconds for him. One point back. And this is a, a, an incredible turn up. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Simeon, clearly the much better boxer and probably the more effective, but not being rewarded, especially in round one. And he's had it all to do. And he's just been told again by the corner he's behind. I think he's looking over to his corner too much. It's distracting him almost. Well, and he just kicked out Simeon's corner, man. The corner's gone. Yes, too much coaching. I think they're distracting him too much as well. And it's going to be... Unless he can produce something sensational in these last few seconds, it's going to be Ibrahimov's afternoon. I must say, the Kazakh has lasted longer than I thought. Coming on better in the last round. Well, Two points in it. Bit of justice there. Ibrahimov landed a lovely left cross, but the point went to Stimian on that occasion. Well, it was a good fight. Ibrahimov won it, I have to say, I think Marian Simeon of Romania was hard done by. It wasn't a diabolical decision, but I think he did enough. And I think the first round was where the, uh, the lack of judgment of the judges came. And just like his brother, he's going to feel very aggrieved. The difference is, he gets a medal, he gets silver, his brother Jarrell got nothing. But he, he lasted the pace, he off. I thought at the end of the second, at the end of the third, he might have a very difficult last two minutes. He might struggle to survive it, but he did. He gritted his teeth. Yeah, I can't argue with that, Simon. A great performance. And, and it, well, you know, it wasn't a bad decision, necessarily. Um, you know, we might just have preferred Simeon, but it's, it's close, isn't it? It was close. Yes, I did prefer Simeon, but uh, it was too close to get uh, too hot about. But the first round was where I thought the judging was wrong. He does well, Simeon. He accepts this. He must be bitterly disappointed. He came in as the favourite. The goal was so close. And at the end of the third round, it looked like he had it. But it wasn't to be. And Ibrahimov, bronze medalist in Atlanta four years ago, now is going to be right at the top of the podium. And Kazakhstan get their second gold medal here at the Olympics in Sydney.